everyone, and welcome to Auto Mobilitza. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Uh, it's another development from Ritza Studios, who originally brought you uh, Stock Car Extreme. Uh, well, this is technically Stock Car Extreme 2, you could call it. Uh, as you can see, I'm driving the Aussie V8. So you may be able to tell the track from this one corner, which is in Canada. And the Jill Villeneuve circuit. Uh, I've downloaded these skins, so you don't get the skins in the game already. What I'm driving, which which are the 2016 Holden skins, not all of them, it's just a few, a select few that uh, I downloaded at the time. So what we're going to do is just a little five lap race to show you what the game is like, basically. And I am in the HRT of Golf Tanda. I see I've got two Craig Lounds in front of me. In the Vortex uh, car, so not totally accurate. I filled a couple of spaces in, added a couple of doubles in there. So we're straight away off to a pole start, wheel spin off the line, uh, right in the back of the field, trying to find a way through. Right in the back, in the top right hand corner, we've got the replay view as uh, normal. I've got to say, this it sounds great. The game, the game is a uh, early access game. So, it's only been out a couple of weeks, so there is a couple of bugs here and there, as expected. For some reason, every time I run over a curb, it's so loud, my ears bleed. The AI are brilliant on it. They do attack you, and aggressive times sometimes, and I've had one slingshot me a couple of times as well, which was irritating, but quite cool at the time, knowing that I had a little battle on my hand with the AI. Down the gears again. So basically, what it is is the R Factor 2 engine. Look at the AI I coming into contact with each other on the exit of the corner there. Behind my teammate now, James Courtney, I think it is. Yep, James Courtney in the 22 HRT car. I'm in the number 2 car. Ooh, and a bit of contact down at the hairpin. Gets me a very poor exit, wheel spin on the line, I've got Jason Bright now alongside me, gets him front in the Bock Holden team race car. I think he's part of the pro team or something like that, I'm not 100% on the teams, but I'm side by side as we head down into the heavy braking zone of the chicane. Get in front, use the curb to rotate the car and there we go, that pass the wall of champions. So what I was saying is basically R Factor 2, the, the R Factor 2 engines used, as you can maybe tell by a couple of the things on the hoods look very similar. The car control is very is similar as, as well. Uh, it's really good. You do have to fight with these cars. So I do like having to fight with the cars to get them going around the track perfectly. Tweak the setup here and there to get that better run and that better time. Uh, but it's basically a big improvement on the graphics as well. So we've got better graphics uh, than R Factor 2. R Factor 2 occasionally does have good graphics. I think it all depends on the mods you go for. So we're on lap 2, racing down to sec. Well, it's a bit about the, the third or fourth chicken, I think, on this circuit. Breaking heavily, putting a lot of energy through the front wheels, front brakes. And look at. Oh, there's been an incident. We've got a rear wing off. I'm not sure who that was, but they've lost the rear wing. There was a bit of contact in there. Moves me up to ninth place. Heavy braking again. You see my tyre temps are nice and are in that prime condition at the moment. I've got one of the Red Bull racing cars. It's Shane Van Gisberg, who's in the Red Bull car now this year. He Last year he wasn't. He was in, uh, I don't know what team he was in. I can remember his car being yellow and black and had a pour on. I can't remember the teams. I'm not well up on the teams, as like I said before. But I know Van Gisberg has now moved to Red Bull Racing. His uh, lounge has moved to the Vortex team. and He had a big wobble on the eggs. Well, the entrance and the exit did uh, Van Gisberg. But I've got a bit of slip steam. I'm going to have a look down the inside. Breaking that bit later. I've shot down the inside. That's what you call a move into the first corner. Getting them brake temps up. I'm not messed with any of the car settings. So, oh, the back end stepping out a bit. This gives Van Gisberg an opportunity to have a look. He's not that close. Well, he didn't even attempt to have a look. The AI's not turned fully up because I'm still trying to get used to the game. There's the loud curb noise. 
I don't know whether it's in my settings or something what's been messed with or I, I'm not sure but I'll be able to sort that out I think I, I don't know whether it's actually a game glitch I think it might be my end if I did play with the sound setting a little bit but enough of that we don't care we don't care do you so now we're chasing down James Courtney again so here's the second of the James Courtney's I am following trying to get onto the back bumper of now really enjoy this track a lot of the circuits on Automobile it's uh, are from Brazil after the the game basically it's a Brazilian based game uh, you got a Brazilian stock car championship which is like the DTM in a way with the Peugeots and the Chevrolets and then you've got the Brazilian Touring Car Championship and then you've got some really cool stuff like the uh, Super Trophy trucks and the Mitsubishi Off-Road Challenge and uh, you've got the Mitsubishi Brazilian Touring Car like championship sort of thing and then you've got stuff like this the Aussie V8s uh, in there, it's only the Holden, so hopefully at some point someone will either bring a mod out or maybe uh, Richard themselves will bring the Fords and maybe the Volvos and stuff, but I think it's copyright issue. And plus you've got the old formulas, you've got the Formula 1 season, oh big accident at first, got two cars facing the wrong way and someone coming out of the pits. I think that's a car from early, what lost its rear wing, oh I lose my back end almost. Second, third. Up into fourth gear, so now I'm on the back of my teammate. We take surely that's a lap runner in front of us. So ignoring blue flags, is it getting blue flags? We don't know, but we're stuck behind him. A lot of flashing of the brake lights, dabbing on and off the brakes, and again, so we're stuck behind whoever came out of the pits. Like we say. Hopefully they'll bring out more cars for it. I think it'll have to be a mob because of the copyright issues and stuff. And I'll break myself a big bit of contact with my teammate there. Late breaking. I caught myself out. I think maybe he was going to... I'm, I'm sure I was breaking at the same point as what I normally did. I think he caught me out by breaking early. And again, he's been slowed down by the car in front. Right up behind him. So if you want in these liveries as well, uh, just jump onto the race department website. These liveries are all on there. Uh, what I was saying about the Formula se Formula One series, you've got the championships from like 2015, all the way back to like 93. There is gaps, obviously, and I'm trying down the inside of my teammate. Think about the idea. A little bit of contact as we enter the chicane. Real tough place to overtake into the chicane. You see, heavy braking zone. You have to get in front before you start turning into the chicane to make it a clean pass. If you're side by side through the chicane, it makes things really difficult. So we're on the final lap now, and this is where things go wrong. So coming out of the first corner, on the power, up in the third gear, fourth gear now, still behind my teammate, James Courtney. Curb, curb. Just hunting him down. I'm having a look left, right, and centre. Because I know I can get past if he's been slowed down by the back market just in front. And this is where the disaster happens. On the power too early, the back end steps out. Had to get on the brakes quite hard. Flat spotted the tyre. Uh, the left front, and probably the left rear. And the car start flying past. So, this has been Auto Mobilitzer, as we're on the last lap now, and I've kind of cocked it up. Um, this could, seems to be quite a habit, this, cocking things up on the last lap. Have to work on it. We'll, ho uh, well, I will be doing more videos on Auto Mobilitzer. I'll be trying to do some formula videos, if I do like the old formulas from, it's like, 93, 94 period. And uh, earlier as well, as I dive down the inside of Jason Bright. Has he come back at me? Yep, yeah, he's on the left, you can... There you go, squeezes me out. So I will be doing more videos on this, hopefully with the trophy trucks as well. Maybe some online as well if we get some decent lobbies. So I've been Dempster 151. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below as I try to go down the inside of Jason Bright. Ah, I can't get there. Oh, we're all sideways out of the last chicken. So I've been Dempster 151. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.